The border with future projects planned on some of our border's ports of entry. The county of El Paso shared with us their concerns about the usage of the Tornillo Bridge. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez has this story. The county of El Paso continues its efforts to keep commercial crossings at the Marcelino Serna Port of Entry in Tornillo, Texas, because the federal government could shut it down if a number of crossings is not reached. Uh, not too long ago, they let us know that um, there is not sufficient volume for them to justify keeping their agents on their four commercial crossings. Um, so that, that worries us greatly. El Paso County Commissioner David Stout also told me U.S. Customs and Border Protection opened this port of entry to do a pilot program for commercial traffic. Only a few commercial trucks cross through that port of entry daily. According to the U.S. CBP's Traveler and Conveyance Statistics data, in January of this year, around 533 trucks crossed through Tornillo. In February, there were 712. This is compared to the more than 3,400 that crossed in October when commercial traffic was shut down at the Bridge of the Americas and Zaragoza Bridge. We want to make sure that, that, we, that it's not uh, a waste of money, a waste of taxpayers' money, right, to have built that bridge and, and it not be, you know, make sure that it's, that it's being utilized for, for the reasons why it was built. Commissioner Stout also told me the county built this bridge to add capacity for commercial crossings in our area, but it has not been used as planned so far. And county officials know the Bridge of the Americas and Santa Teresa will have modernization projects that will affect traffic eventually, but there are other concerns of fully using Tornillo for commercial traffic. I will tell you why coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 6. Reporting from the Bridge of the Americas in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7.